It's about midnight Eastern time on Saturday, February 10th. And uh, it's hard to believe, and I, I loved your call at the end of the night, Destin, the, the Winter Nationals at East Bay is over for the final time. And, and it is just, it's, it's almost unfathomable that a place that has been such a part of the DNA and the fabric and just the existence of dirt late model racing, the Winter Nationals will never happen again. Yeah. And in theory, guys, we don't know what the weather is like here in October. If there's a hurricane, we may have just witnessed the final race in the history of East Bay. I don't know that that's set in for me yet. I, it hasn't set in for me either. And, and as I look around, I don't know that it has set in for a lot of the people here as well. <laughs> right. We've seen a lot of people like around the racetrack mingling, mingling yeah, yeah. but we, we haven't seen like the open weeping in the stands or anything yeah. like, like I thought we might see, Ben. Yeah, and I experienced this at I-30 Speedway a few years ago, and it was it was open weeping. Nobody wanted to leave. But here's the deal. They're going to run Speed Week Speed Week's events here after this. We got the High yeah. Limit Series here, and then in October we come back. Unless there's a hurricane or a fall yeah. storm, there's a lot of ifs. And, and I think that's why I think for the four of us, we're racing to the bone. We realize we might be walking out of here for the final time. And Derek, I thought you, you spent so much time in the pits today and I tweeted out. It was it was a vibe here today, yeah. right? It just, just try to describe to the people as this place comes to an end, what it was like here today. And you could feel it was different today it to was me. A, it was a madhouse. You had fans <laughs> crawling everywhere, fans in the pit area. It had that Eldora vibe. You had no phone service because there were so many damn people here. So <laughs> right. people were just having conversations. Yeah. People going up to the old school racers like Gary Stuhler, Rick Eckert, the Conleys, just like a whole bunch of people in the pit area. And I talked to Donnie Moran. He almost had me in tears for the road to Eldora piece. Yeah. He said it's like a family reunion. He's been yeah. coming down here for 42 years. Other than Eldora, Speed Weeks is probably the one place in the entire nation where you have so many different pockets throughout the entire country yeah. coming down here. You had the Port Royal crowd over there on the hillside. Yeah. You just had the Ohio Valley people that, you know, bow down to Dustin Jarrett. They, they do love him. Yeah. They do love him. They do love him. You have Illinois Land of Lincoln people, and it, it's awesome. And like Dalton Wilson said, it hasn't hit me yet that I just won the final East Bay race. And like, obviously, he's fired up. He got the big Lucas Owen, yeah. but... Man, what a magical place. And other than Eldora and Fairbury, I would say this is the track I've yeah. been to the most. 100 so plus races, probably, if you're yeah, close to, it's right? Nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. And I think for me, it is this place has shaped my life, right? Like we started Dirt on Dirt in 2007. We covered the first speed weeks of ours in 2008. I've seen over 100 races here. This, this racetrack, this place, in this county, in this town has changed the course and the direction of my life. It's not just a place that we come to to watch racing. And I think in a way, it's probably changed all of our lives and, to a degree. It, that's impactful. In 2010, know? my first full, full year in yeah. racing, you brought me here to do Speed Weeks. Yeah. And when I got here, I was scared <laughs> because <laughs> I was bad. seeing all these drivers I had never seen for the yeah. first time. I called Terry Casey Scott James, <laughs> and I was scared by the magnitude. I was like, I don't belong here. I've heard about this place, and I'm seeing all these guys that I've only seen in yeah. papers. This place, for a lot of people, it's kind of their Eldora in a yeah. sense because a lot of people yeah. come here, and they might not get to go Eldora, yeah. but they see these World 100 caliber fields in February when nobody else is doing anything. It's right? February, it's 72 right. degrees, it's midnight. Right. It's February 10th, yeah. 2024, and I, I think that it's gonna take a long time to really set in. Yeah. I think about back when I first started here, the first year back in, in 2005, right? Yeah. We used to do an audio broadcast <laughs> that people at home would listen to us. There was no video. Yeah. They listened were to Were you the better words. then or were you uh, the same? Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I was now. Yeah. But they would listen to an audio broadcast that Michael yeah. Despain and I did. We always used to say we were the eyes and ears. But the people that later said they came to East Bay because they heard us. Yeah. It just that that will always that will forever be kind of etched in my mind. I'm I think. Go around the horn to, to kind of end it here. If in fact this was it and we don't get a race in October, or even if it's not, but if, if in fact this is it, what is the lasting legacy? I'll start here. What's the lasting legacy of East Bay to you? The resurgence. I came here in 2013, yeah. 14, 15. There'll only be 35 to 40 late models. Yeah. The outlaws would be heading to Scriven, so it would split up there towards the end of the week. And then about four or five years ago, especially after they made that announcement, yeah. people just came in groves. Every driver was here. The outlaws took off, so you yeah. just had every single, as Ben Mitchell said, World 100 type field. Yeah, yeah. And this last year, even talking to Rick Schwally during the many, he said the racing wasn't that good. He'll, he admitted that. But this year, six different yeah, winners. It was awesome. Barn burner after barn burner. The crowd was on their feet and just, I mean, Dalton Wilson, I said, was it worth it again second place nine times to win the finale? <laughs> That's a good question. Said, That's a good yes. question. Hell yeah. So I'll remember th this week especially just because 
You know, we don't know how Speed Weeks is going to be and just how we've covered it yeah. the last, you know, decade plus. What about you? Lasting legacy of East Bay. Final thing, uh, I think the lasting legacy is this place always represented fresh beginnings, yeah. hopes, dreams. Yeah. This is where the dreams began. For Dalton Wilson, the dream became a reality tonight. Yeah. He knows he belongs. He knows he's on that scene. So many guys would have awful seasons the year before, but damn it, when you come to East yeah. Bay, everybody's starting fresh, and you come here, and the eyes of the world are watching you. It's hopes and dreams, and yeah, that's a good answer. What do you think? I think for me, it's it's. I think back to some of those early days, the guys that made household names out of themselves. Yeah. Nobody knew who Terry Casey yeah. was till he came to East Bay Raceway Park, and quite honestly, not a peop, not a lot of people knew who Tim Dome Tim, was. I was going to say until Dome. he yeah, came to East yeah. Bay Raceway Park as well. For every Tim Dome and Terry Casey, there is there's probably fifty other ones as well. Guys that didn't win. Jason Montgomery had the track yeah. record here. Butch McGill yeah. from my area. <laughs> Past Billy Moyer last turn, last lap to win a heat race. The guys that made household names out of themselves, that's the thing that I'm probably going to remember yeah. more than anything. I think for me, there's there's two things. One, I think Ben's fresh beginnings thing was something that you end the season in October, November, but this was the, the hope was so deep yeah. here, right? When, when a place is only known by its name, and to me, East Bay, Eldora, not, this is in that 10, That's 10 a call. To me, when, when your name is elevated into that, all you have to say is two words, East Bay, and you know, like, you could say, Bar, this is no disrespect to Bardstown, or, but East Bay meant so much to so many people on the name alone. And to me, the last thing is, when there is no replacing something, that tells you all you need to know about that thing. There is simply no replacing this. I know they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do next year. You cannot replace East Bay. It cannot be replaced. And to Ben's point, it's probably time for a fresh and new beginning now. And it's it's just, it's impossible to believe that, that it's gone. It's just impossible to believe that it's gone.